Hey guys, this is Resident Network here, back yet again with another video, and, and as you can see, I am not in my normal room right now, I'm actually in my gaming area! If you can see that. Anyways, um, the reason, it's not because of my gaming room, guys, like, come on. So, I'm starting to become, like, very excited about this new Pac-Man movie that's coming out in, like, 2024, 2025, and 2026. So, I'm going to do some more predictions on this upcoming Pac-Man movie. So, guys, I'm in my room now. But anyways, here's the plot. Meet 42-year-old Pac-Man. A man that gobbles up ghosts and eats dots and eats power pellets to eat ghosts and save the day. Living a wonderful life with his wife, Janet and his children, Pac Jr. and Pac-Lily. Pac-Man is always saving the day, being the main superhero of Pac-Land, saving everybody from, from danger from the ghosts. But not this time, because the ghosts have a little something up their sleeves. Master Gucci has a plan for, all, for, the, for the ghost gang to go and kidnap the Mother Fairy from Pac-Land to, to open the door and kidnap her from sight. Well, unfortunately, that plan works, and Glitchy is now holding Mother Fairy from ransom. So Pac-Man see, sees, sees this on the news, and 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 being the Pac-Man that he is, he he himself and also Janet, his wife, go, go to set on an adventure to go find Mother Fairy. And Mother Fairy is hidden in Japan, which Master Glitchy plan on hiding hiding her so no one can find her. But Pac-Man can conquer that, so he has to go all around the world to Japan to go find what the fairy and bring her from Pac-Land from, dis from despair. Because because according to the pa according to the Pac Bible, it says without the mother fairy, Pac-Land has nothing. So Pac-Man and Janet have to go ahead and say and go around the world and sa and save Mother Fa Fairy and bring her back to Packland from destruction. So yeah, guess that's the plot. So now let's move on. Well, now we move on to character designs and cast. And as you can see, it's next morning. It's snowing outside. Anyways, let's move on to the character designs and cast. So let's move on to the first character. Okay, so let's start off with our main hero of the story, Pac-Man. My Pac-Man design for the movie looks like the design from the Midway poster of the game, but this time I made him a lot better. He looks like he's in his classic design. He's got his, he's got gray gloves. He's got some big. He's giving us a thumbs up. He's got some bumpy eyebrows. Also, he's got some big ass feet, by the way. Big ass feet. But, um, yeah, I think he, look, he looks pretty good, in my opinion. He looks like, like a cartoony ish character, in my opinion. And also, I want Pac Man to be voiced by Brent Elon for his fantastic Mickey Mouse voice. I want Pac Man to have a Mickey Mouse impression in the movie because making Pac Man's. Because if Pac Man sounds like Mickey Mouse in this movie, it would be quite hilarious and also a good voice for Pac Man. But regardless, I still think this design works pretty good. So let's move on to the next character. So the next character we have is Janet, my replacement for Miss Pac-Man due to Pac-Man being completely quite ugly. But regardless, this is the Miss Pac-Man replacement I came up with, Janet. She's got black hair, a green bow, blue lipstick for her mouth. She's got. She's got some red polka dot gloves, and, and she's got blue high heels, and also she's got them all right between her cheeks. But anyways, I kind of want, I kind of want Janet be the voice by Reese Witherspoon, the voice of like Susie from like Monsters vs. Aliens and stuff, and also um that girl from like Four Christmases or something. I I don't know. But anyways, but anyways, that's a good voice for the movie. And plus, Janet looks actually pretty a pretty good Miss Pac-Man replacement because I try to make her like a woman as many as many ideas as I can, and this is kind of the best I can come up with. 
So, but any, but for Gargoyles, I think she would she would be a perfect Miss Packard replacement. But I think that's all I have to say for now. So let's move on to the next character. So now we move on to the ghosts. Starting off with Blinky, and he looks boss, man. Like he looks he looks gold, man. So Blinky is like the usual, the mean, typical bully ghost that always wants to eat up Pac-Man all the time. So his body's black, his outlines and eyes and stuff, and his mouth are are all in red because that's what their colors are supposed to be in the pack in the original Pac-Man game. And he's also got some dark red gloves. And I want him to be voiced by Neil Ross. Fun fact: Neil Ross was the voice of. Of Clyde in the 1982 Pac-Man cartoon. So if he could voice Clyde in the in the in the cartoon, he could voice Blinky in this movie too. Despite the fact, just don't do it. Just don't do it in the Elmo voice that Blinky did because he was the coward in that TV show. However, but now let's move on to the next character. So now we move on to Inky. Now Inky is based. Is basically Blinky's unfortunate sidekick or something like that. Bad mania reference. <laughs> but anyways, Blinky is cross-eyed. But I'm not saying he's stupid, guys. I'm just saying he's the crazy lunatic. Like, he can't go out of control. Like, he's on ADHD or something like that. But anyways, um, so he's kind of crazy. He's teal. He has uh, turquoise gloves. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. And I think I want Blinky to be voiced by Jack McBrayer, which is, which is, if you don't know who Jack McBrayer is, Google or YouTube search him, then you will completely understand what I'm saying right now. But anyways, I think Inky, my Inky design is pretty good. A bunch of Pac-Man fans are probably going to be hating on this, but because Inky's not super, I just said he's a lunatic, guys, he's a lunatic. But anyways, um, let's move on to the next character. So the next character we have is Pinky. She, she's so I, I don't want Pinky. They kind of look like the the Pinky 2010s design in the Pac-Man series, which stole the personality of Sue for and ever and ever and ever. But anyways, um, uh, I want Pinky to kind of look like Cosmic Tunes and kind of my design of of Pinky. And uh, yeah, she's she's pretty pretty. She's just like the rest of the ghosts with more. She has a black body. She's her outlines and the eyes and the mouth are are all pink and she's got purple gloves gloves to make her more like a woman woman ghost but anyways i want pinky to be voiced by Kim mindy kaling the voice of like velma don't watch that show it's complete it's complete garbage like i've seen it online and it's complete garbage so don't don't watch it avoid at all costs but anyways let's move on so here we have the last of the ghost game we have clyde the scared and cowardly and retarded ghost of the ghost gang. So here we have Clyde, which is which is basically the same as the other ghosts, but this time he's like scared, he's like kinda like sad, he doesn't want Pac to shop him or anything. And he's kinda like the retarded. The reason why he doesn't come out of the ghost box for like the five like the half the seconds of Pac-Man is because he kinda doesn't want to get out because he's scared. But anyways, um anyways, Clyde looks pretty good. He looks like scared, he doesn't want to come out. But anyways, um, I want Clyde to be voiced by Brad Garrett. Uh, like I've seen him in movies, he's kind of like, kind of like this deep manly voice and stuff like that. And he's also got some like red gloves. So, so, but I, but for girls, I think Clyde looks like pretty, like pretty scared of the, like pretty scared, like, like he looks like a great cowardly ghost for the ghost game. But anyways, let's move on. To, to the Pack family and also the other kids. So first we're coming on to the Pack family. So first we have Professor Pack, aka Pac-Man's great great grandpa. So 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 Professor Pack looks like he's ready to do some schoolwork. So he's got a book in his hand. He's got like a mustache and a beard. He's got black boots. Once he once again he's got he's got white gloves. And also he's got an education hat. I don't know what that's called. But anyways, um, I kind of want Professor Pack to be voiced by Mel Brooks, Brooks, which is kind of a perfect for like an 80 year old man or something like that. And if he's even still alive, just, just so you know. But anyways, let's move on to the next character. So the next character we got is Pac-Man, Pac-Man's grandchild. Now, 
Now, um, let's point out the details. She looks like Janet, but this time she's a, but this time it's pa one of Pac-Man's children. She's got green gloves, a little bow, um, and a pacifier in her mouth, and a Gucci rattle. Now, so I mean, yeah, so I think that that's kind of it. So let's move on to the next. So then we have Master Glitchy, our villain of the story. Like, look at him. He looks like a perfect villain. Like, he's ready to fight Pac-Man, and also ready to go kidnap the Mother Fairy. Like, um, like I added a few strokes of, like, red, blue, green, green, and yellow. But anyway, but anyways, I think I want Glitchy to be voiced by Will Arnett. But I, but I think he would be probably a perfect voice since I, like, ran out of ideas of voice acting. But I think it would be probably a perfect guy to, vo to voice him. But anyways, let's move on to the next character. So then we have a ghost who can jump, Funky, from Pac-Mania. He's one of the ghosts that can jump. And I think I want him to be voiced by, um, Andy Samberg. Yeah, Andy Samberg would probably be perfect for Funky. But anyways, let's move on. I got, I got nothing to say about Funky. Here's another ghost who can jump, Spunky. She is one of the ghosts that can jump. She can jump just as far there as Pac-Man because she's a girl and ghosts can jump higher. But anyways, I th Spunky should be probably be voiced by Selena Gomez, which is probably a perfect voice since she looks like she's like 27 or 37 or something like that. But anyways, let's move on to the final guy. And last but not least, we have Sue. The ghost that is just like Pinky's personality in the 2010 version, guys. But he appeared in Pac-Land, but he was actually orange in this Pac-Man, which is his first appearance. But yeah, but yeah, she's what she's just like the other ghosts, and uh, she's gonna bro be probably be voiced by Holly Hunter, the voice of Mrs. Incredible Disney. But anyways, let's move on to the next thing. So I think we're gonna wait. So in theaters, it will release on September 16th, 2024 in North America, and September 18th of 2024 in Japan, October 6th in Spain, October October 16th of 2024 in France, October 21st in Germany. So you're talking about home release. So I think you're talking. So you might be asking home releases. You might be asking. Or it'll probably release on HBO, HBO Max, Udo, um, um, Hulu, um, YouTube TV, HBO Max, and stuff like that. But anyways, um, let's move on to the next thing. Okay, time for the final thing. And oh my god, why do I keep teleporting rooms? But anyways. Um, time to ask ratings. So, since this movie is going to be like live action-ish or something, I think this movie should be targeted PG-13. Because I'm going to be turning 13 year this year, and I'm, and, and, uh, and in 2024, I'm going to become 14. Yeah, 14. And so, I think it should be targeted PG-13 for general audiences. So, I think that about covers this video, so, um, Renzo Network out, and the next video is my birthday! Yay! But anyways, Renzo Network out.